Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian. Making sure I have everything before I roll out of here. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. Yeah, it looks like I got my rain gear today. I know I have my rain gear at work, but I got my light rain jacket that I keep at home. What's up, everybody? Rise and grind, hump day, Wednesday, hump day. Rise and grind, everybody. Rise and grind. I'm up at 5.15, 5.20, and yet I'm still a couple minutes late because I was having a problem. Hurt my neck again. Now I know how I hurt my neck. Looking at my far left monitor. Instead of moving the work in front of me when I'm doing some stuff for my channel. So, a little, a little knot. A little knot in the neck. I need a deep tissue massage. But anyway, rise and grind, everybody. It's Wednesday. Four more days, including today for me. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be today, not as bad. But there is going to be showers. Tomorrow and Friday are going to be downpours at work. Good thing is the temperatures are dropping into the 70s. Today is going to be low 80s, I think, but tomorrow and the next day are in the 70s because of all the rain. We could use the rain. And then Saturday, it's supposed to be nice again, kind of a little bit warmer chance of a shower. But there's your weather update for South Jersey. Now, that is about as ugly as you can get in a car. <sighs> Somebody, some people, they just don't know. These young kids think they know. They don't know. Hell nah, 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 hell to the nah, Bishop Bullwinkle, what's up everybody, um, I got a premiere coming for 12 o'clock, high noon eastern, 9 o'clock on the west coast, check it out, we start talking about some off the field issues with the Cowboys then we go into a couple an interview we do some training camp live I give you my thoughts it's almost an hour video I wanted to make it 25 minutes next thing you know it's almost an hour so I'll be watching along with you with just trying to comment when wherever possible because I'll be walking the route but to keep a lookout for it obviously this will be up because you'll be yeah, I've been getting some good download speed, you know, upload speeds at work, so that's good. So yes, um, we got some news on uh, the rival birds. Um, not great, people. I'm not here to bring bad news. C.J. Gardner Johnson missed most of last year in Detroit, often injured. What the? We got wild turkeys in the. Watch this shit. I'm gonna sneak by the bus. Look. Wild turkey. He got a wild turkey. He gonna get hit. Gonna get hit. Somebody gonna have I don't know what that is. is that a turkey? that's not a turkey, is it? Oh shit, it's still in the middle. Please, please leave. Don't get hurt, little guy. Ugh. Starting to get off the road. All right, cool. Ooh, that was scary. I don't. I like animals. I love animals. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. But um, C.J. Gardner Johnson needs an MRI. Supposedly, word out from Gary Cobb and Big Sills that he needs a knee scope. I would say I got two words for you, Eagle fans. Now's the time. For this two words. Even though I don't think he was a fit. But if CGA is going to be laid up for any amount of time. Justin Simmons. Go get him. Go get him now. Howie Roseman. This is where you shine my guy. You need to go out and address what's going on. I know his scope. He could be potentially ready. But a guy who's missed most of last year. He's missed time before. Go get you with Justin Simmons as uh, security. That's what you need to do. So, I mean, they have a... I know they were really... A Gary Cobb was really hammering a Paris Campbell. 
Again, he's in shorts again, standing and watching. He's fighting for a job, okay? Paris Campbell's fighting for a job. You got to understand, guys like Big Sills, Gary Cobb, we play for the Birds, play for the Cowboys. They're used to two-a-day practices. If something hurts, you put some tape on it, all right? It's almost like the pitchers these days. Shout out to the Phils getting a win last night. Much needed win to stave off the, uh, the charging Dodgers. But, you know, with the whole, with the, we, yeah, nowadays with the pitch counts and these pitchers are always having these Tommy Johns because they don't throw enough, in my opinion, but I'm old school. But there ain't, there ain't no two a days. What is there, 11 padded practices? You know, I mean, guys like Paris Campbell who are trying to make a team. You know, think he makes it because he's looking around and, you know, all right, you need to be on the field with your team, bro. But that that's just my opinion. I know, oh, you're a Dallas fan, worry about your team. No, I live here. It's my job to know just as much as you know. Just remember that. Lou Branch. Lou Branch, your hat should be there. Oh, Drew, I don't know what happened, Drew. Your hat didn't go out. Unless you got it, let me know. I'm losing track. But if you didn't get it, I gotta get it out tomorrow. That whole brat, uh, whoever gave you the hat, I didn't include you because I didn't have it written down. I mean, I don't know. So, Drew, let me know. If you got the hat, great. If you didn't get a hat, I'm gonna send you a hat. Kelly Green. No star. But anyway, so yeah. You know, um, we'll see. Like, I I made a video, and this goes out to the Eagles as well. My Eagle peeps. Don't expect Fangio to show much in your preseason game Friday night. Okay? Do not expect it. I've already, I made a video that's going to premiere at noon today, as we just discussed. Said the same thing about the Cowboys. Dallas doing a lot of neat stuff on defense, but they're not going to show a lot. They're going to keep it vanilla and have the bottom of the roster. The last, basically, six or seven guys fighting for positions. That's all it is, people. Barring injury, six, seven, eight tops, guys. We're talking sixth wide receivers, fourth running backs, uh, offensive linemen, uh, tight end, yeah, that last tight end spot. You know, phantom injuries where you get to stash somebody on IR. Whatever it is. Um, so don't expect a lot. But I'm interested in the Cowboys because all these training camp heroes, right? These young guys who are going off. You know, like uh, last year's drafted wide receiver who spent all year on the practice squad, Jalen Moreno Cropper. Tyrone Billy Williams, who's been in the league, you know. Uh, in my opinion, Dallas has four locked. Dallas has CeeDee Lamb, I know he's not in camp. Brandon Cooks, Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks. Those four are locks to me. So, if we're keeping six, you know Turpin's one of them. So, who's that last guy? We're talking Billy Johnson, Jalen Moreno Cropper. I mean, who could we get to the practice squad, you know? So that's that's the catch-22. You want to look good in preseason, but also by looking good in preseason, some of you are going to get you. Especially a guy like a Jalen Moreno Cropper who gives you returnability, who could be dynamic. So that's the question for my Cowboy fans. Racy McMath, he's, gonna, he's a big boy. He's going to probably shine in the preseason. I don't think he's on the team. David Durden, the guy coming back from an ACL who was, who they said was number 53 if he didn't tear his ACL last year. Last player to make the roster. I don't know that I buy it, but this year, not so much. John Stevens, the tight end, who's not looking bad. He's still one of the better tight ends in the group, but he was the best tight end last year, not named Jake Ferguson. He was shining before he tore his ACL. So, I'm very curious to see, but I just want to warn people that um, don't expect a lot of exotics. If your defense looks bad during preseason, 
that's because, uh, you know, I'll be curious. I'm not positive how Vic Fangio is, but I know Mike Zimmer with his, uh, likes to, uh, disguise, ain't gonna show nothing in the preseason, so, everybody gonna get all worked up over wins and losses, now, it's about individual performances in the preseason, getting some continuity, trying to work out, you know, you know, get Cooper BB in there a lot, and you're gonna know, like, you're gonna know who doesn't play in this game for the Cowboys on Sunday, that basically, who's already on the team, you're one, I have an idea, but we got plenty of time to talk about that. Um, shout out to Dwayne Thomas. Rest in peace, my friend. Dwayne Thomas has uh, passed away. I didn't know his whole story. It was interesting. It was kind of a rough beginning for Dwayne Thomas. He was a uh, he liked to buck. He liked to buck the system. He came in in 1970 and held out in 1971. Yeah, he wanted. He wanted more money a year in. Back then. You remember Dwayne Thomas. And then we ended up trading him. And then the NFL ended up rescinding the trade and sending him back to Dallas. I did not know that. Um, where he ended up... He ended up losing the Super Bowl against the Colts. Then he was traded. Or he, he held out. We traded him. They rescinded the trade. Came back to Dallas. Ended up winning the Super Bowl against the Dolphins. Then we traded him again. And then, uh, he, like, he never came back. So, it was just one of those interesting deals. I didn't realize the, uh, he definitely was bucking the system back in the day. So, very, very interesting. Um... So yes, so yeah, that's just uh, hopefully C.J. Gardner Johnson. It's just something, something small, but you know these guys these days. Uh, C.J. If it's a knee, it's a knee. You can't do nothing about it, right? But real quick, you know the whole Brandon Ayuk. Now you got the uh, uh, New England Patriots. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Get your minivan full of whatever in gear. You could go. Like, what the? Waiting for the perfect... Go! Hit the gas button. The fuck? Punk. Anyway. Um, New England is out. New England is out. They probably want more draft compensation because they will be getting a lesser receiver in return. Steelers are back in. Steelers are back in. Maybe Steelers are willing to give up more draft capital and less immediate impact. I wouldn't give up your young wide receiver. Their whole idea is to add to your team. Um, so, I hope he goes to the Steelers, but the Browns are on the table as well. Cleveland, we'll see. But like Nick Bosa said, Nick Bosa said it. It's not easy to replace a guy like Brandon Ayuk. All these bang bang fans that are trolling me lately after my video. You ain't winning that division. The Rams. The Rams are going to win that division. But anyway, people, I'm here. Um, don't forget my lunchtime chat around 2.33 o'clock. Uh... Stay tuned, people. Premiere at 12 noon. Late.